Hello and welcome to another video presentation from jimdegstrom.com. I'm Jim and today's lesson is Advanced Photo Masking Using Zara Extreme. I'm going to demonstrate how I took a stock photo from a customer and did a modification to remove the background with some advanced features for a new website they're doing. Let's take a look. Here's a stock photo that the customer purchased showing a boxer. With a point on their website, they wanted to show people getting on the internet and getting beat up. So what I needed to do is remove the two areas in the background so that they can lay this photograph on top of just about anything. Here it is with the background missing. And here's what it would look like on a black background. So as you can see, it'll fit on just about anything. Let's talk about how the background gets removed. I start in Zara Extreme by drawing an outline of the portion that I would want to remove from the background, just leaving the actual photo. So what I do is I carefully trace the outline of the boxing glove, going over, putting in curves, straight lines as necessary, down the side of the body, finishing off the curves at the bottom, and then I make a mask. And then what I do is hold the control button, click the two, and it removes the background. That's it. You can see the background's missing. Just by doing an outline trace of it to make a shape, control two to remove it. Next, I want to do the top of the photograph and down the right hand side as far as the rest of the background. Now I begin by tracing the top half of the boxing glove, following around with straight and curved lines, very precisely tracing the outline. On the hair it's a little rough. Uh, as long as it looks like hair, that's all I'm going for. I want the general effect without getting every single little strand. Next I'll come back later and do a little bit more with the hair to make it look just a little bit more realistic. Now for the zoom and for this video, this is probably zoomed out more than I would have used when I actually did the tracing. So as you're using Zara Extreme, you might need to zoom in at 500 or maybe even a thousand times the size of the actual photograph that you're working to get the type of precision that you need. Here I'm cutting the hair, not too precisely. I wanted to leave some of that rough stuff off right there near the shoulder, so I kind of traced around that. And again, I continue tracing the body down to the end of the shoulder, and then I create the mask by going back the outside perimeter, back to the beginning, and then what I'm going to do is make a black outline to crop that part. Here I'm pointing out some of the white parts. I'm going to go back in later and clip those out also so that the background will show through there. Here's the clipping mask. I've done this one in black. Again, you click the photo, click the mask, control 2, and it deletes it. Now we've got the complete photo done without the background. The only problem here, of course, is that hair. I don't want that part of the photo to block whatever is put in the background. Whatever the client, however the client intends to use this, I still want it to come out looking good, whether it's on a photograph, on a solid cut up color, what have you. So the way I do this is I create another small mask inside the photo and just trace the part that I want to eliminate. You saw that disappear. Let me explain how that happens. Here I'm starting with the pen tool and I'm actually tracing the part that I want to remove. From the pen tool, I go back to the pointer and I click on both the red mask and the photo, holding down the shift key, and then I hold the control key, press the number two key once, and it deletes that portion. Let's look at it again. I use the pen tool, go back and get the pointer, I click on the red mask, hold the shift key, click on the photo, press control two, and it's gone. Let's try that again and I'll just point out the last part of that. Again, you're using the pen tool, you're going to go back to the pointer tool after you create the mask. And then with the pointer tool, you're going to click on the red mask, click on the photo, 
Control 2, and it disappears. Let's do another piece. Again, I just trace as carefully as possible the white part that I want to remove. When it comes together, I've got the mask. I hold the shift, like both the photo and the mask, then Control 2, and it's gone. Let's slide down and take a closer look at another piece. I'll do a couple of more just so that you get a feel for how you can go back in when you've got wild hair like this, and you really just don't want to give them a regular haircut. You want to keep some of that wildness in there. Carefully trace the outline of the part that you want to, comp that you want to delete. Hold Control, press 2 to remove it. Let's do just two more pieces, and that'll be enough of the hair. After doing this, I actually went completely around the perimeter of the hair to remove white pieces like this, so that when this photo gets placed over something else, it's uh, the background is not going to be hidden. It's actually going to show through where I've clipped parts of the photograph. We can zoom out now and take a closer look at it, and there it is. You can see where I've clipped part of it. And then what I'm going to do is show you where I, complete, where I clipped the whole thing later. But meanwhile, I needed a shirt for this guy, so here's a stock photo out of a photo shoot that I did for a client for business card. I blocked out their face for privacy. So basically, I use the same tracing technique. I come in, I trace the part of the shirt that I want to use in this other photograph. I create the mask. I hold the shift key, click the photo, and click the mask, and now a little different. Control 3, and it saves that piece. Next, I slide it into place, lay it over what was once a boxer, and now you can see how this looks like someone who might be working on the internet. It gives a much better feel than the naked guy for what this guy wanted for his website. There's the picture again with black as the background. You can see that the hair shows through. Now let's take a look at what this would look like on a photograph. That's a picture of Orlando in the background in the park. So here's the guy placed over that kind of photograph. It can be done over a banner, advertising, artwork, just about anything that this client wants to do with this photo now, he can lay it on top of something else. That's it. That's the advanced photo masking technique using Zara Extreme. If you have any questions, email me from any page on my website. My business is custom web design, video production, and matching graphic artwork. Need more information? Visit jimdegestrom.com. Thank you for watching.